hello everyone i hope you guys are well in this video we are going to be spending the day with nana nana is an artist who does it on a part-time basis he uses items like plastic bags pieces from the seamstress bark of plantain he is so creative and his work is amazing make sure you subscribe by clicking that red button give it a like that totally helps me out a lot and this is going to be a good one so make sure you stay till the end We are in Nungwa. Nungwa is a town in the Korowa Municipal District in the Greater Accra region of southeastern Ghana near the coast. Nungwa is a highly populated area with a population of about 84,119 people. Nungwa is highly dominated by people of the Ga Adangme clan. It's a Monday morning, a day off from Nana's full-time work. He is about to use his free time to put together some art that he's going to be selling later on. Okay. So these are the processes in which I go through. Okay. Because okay. it's very soft, you can use it directly. Right. Yeah. So you have to do something with it. Exactly. Okay. You see, iron is very hot. Right. So when when you use the iron against the how do you call it? The rubber. Uh -huh. It will it melt will completely. Melt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have a material, they put it under it. Right. So that it wouldn't melt the rubber. Uh, that okay. is exactly what I'm using. Right, yeah. right. Okay. So I just paste it here. Mm -hmm. And then make sure I, I heat the iron. Mm -hmm. for, for me to get the flat surface of the rubber. Mm -hmm. That is how I do it. Okay. Right, nice. okay. Then I turn it back again. Mm -hmm. You know, I think what you're doing is so interesting because um, you're, it's very sustainable, you know, like using plastic bags. So that means like if people, if you purchase something and you're given a plastic bag, you can reuse the plastic bag for this artwork as well, which is very helpful because in Ghana, a lot of people use plastic bags. So a lot of people Just tend like to- Just like recycling. Yeah, basically, basically. And even the, the use of the plantains and all that, that's super interesting. So can you tell me like what started the whole thing? When I completed this, when you completed this, this okay. Okay. but I didn't take it seriously. Okay. So I didn't take it seriously. I showed this thing to my mom, and it was just like I had a, a godmother. Okay. By name Mrs. Fu. Okay. She worked with the ministry. Okay. So she happens to see one one of the one of the art again. She said, ah, if you can do something about it, we'll just go to art center. Have a look at what they are doing or have a look at what they have. Mm -hmm. Then you come, sit down, and then you know how to know about it. 
I said, okay. Actually, she said all this, and I couldn't take it seriously. Of course, well, um, I need to go to work, mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. home, do all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And I work for 12 hours. Okay, yeah, so 12 hours a day. As I mean. Okay. I never had a time of concentrating on the mm -hmm. But it came to a point that um, when I sleep, it could just turn on me like, why don't you use this? Why don't you go do this way mm -hmm. so that at least you could get no idea about it? And I remember I got up and I said to myself, no, let me try this and see. Mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes you have a rough surface mm -hmm. and I have a it's nice sur surface. surface. Well, right. So you are going to turn it um, where the rough surface is. So if you just use one type of glue, that won't work. Is that right? Is that why you use both the 99 and the paper glue? Well, um, this one works differently. This one also works, oh, even okay. though they are all adhesives. Right, okay. But this one is um, different from this, okay. the, the paper the glue. Consistency, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you just press it on the rubber. Mm -hmm. That is a black poly thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take your time. Mm. Other than you are going to spoil everything. Mm. So how long does it normally take you to complete the whole thing, like the one you well, showed us earlier on, like that This, one? for instance, it could take about um, two to three hours. Okay. Right. I use the back of plantain. So we finished with our cutting. Mm. Now we are going to do the pasting. Okay. So what type of paper is it? Is it like cardboard or cardboard yeah. paper? Yeah. Okay. I use a uh, cardboard, but okay. have a rough surface. Okay. That is what they use for a uh, complementary card. Right. Okay. Yeah. However, you can't just paste it anyhow. Okay. So you still maintain the one you've cut. Ah, and then just you that, that. Yeah. Okay. At the back of your cutting. Um, just take your time, and then you paste it. So have you always had like some kind of interest in art? Is that how come like after SS you thought about doing it? No, no, no. I never thought. Okay. What did you study in school? Building. Oh, okay. So Tipoli. two completely different. Yes. Okay. okay. So this is how you are going to say it. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. As I said, I can maintain this mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. I can maintain this color, mm -hmm. but I can change the face. Okay. Using a, uh, how do you call it? The back of plantain. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that would differentiate the face this. From the hat. Yes, exactly. Ah. Sometimes you meet somebody and then they tell you that your friend is uh, a joa. Right. Meanwhile, the person is not in Ghana. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, sure. So we just like for them to see our culture. I just okay. promote, I use this because of um, they knowing that I'm a Ghanaian. Okay. Because when you go everywhere, yeah. They see that you the moment you put on yeah. kente, yeah. you know that you are from. That's right. You yeah, are from, from Ghana, uh, Ghana yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, sure. So do you sell these um, artwork? 
uh, I'm not advertising. Okay. So actually, even though some few ones have been requesting for, uh, I've never actually made so much things about it. Okay. Just, just like one or two. Okay, yeah. just a few. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how long have you been doing it now? Actually, yeah, I spent this for five years because I wasn't taking it seriously. Right, right. Yeah. So how long ago did you start taking it seriously? Um, and doing it that, more often because you have a few. That was last year. So, and with your other job, what's your role there? Um, I work as a, a quality person. Yeah. We check the products, the oh. finishing products. Ah, to make sure it's yeah. perfect. Okay, okay, awesome. And how long have you been doing that? Um, I've been there for a couple of two years now. Okay, okay. Have you lived in Nungwa all your life? No. Okay. So where did you come from? Yeah, actually I was with my mom at uh, Tema. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because as I said, the nature of my work mm -hmm. brought me here. Okay. Yeah, okay. So that I just I could have close at Close to me, closer exactly. to your work. Where's your work? Spain's Oh, okay, Jones. yeah, so you're closer, yeah. okay, definitely. All right, cool. And how old are you, if time you ask? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> three, three. Next year, we're three, three. Oh, okay. Then you're fairly young, okay. So you're not married with kids or anything no, like no, that? No, okay. okay, okay. So what's, what are your plans for the future? Oh, um, the plans that I have now is I'm looking up to God in the sense that, you know, in everything you have to put before God. Mm -hmm. At least I should promote the African culture. Okay. Yes. Just like I always look up to Ochami Kwame. Okay. He's somebody who likes promoting uh, uh, made in Ghana goods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So having this kind of uh, material like uh, the Kinte and all mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. At least I, I, I pray that it goes beyond, mm -hmm. beyond, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And that like people see the beauty of Africa, mm -hmm. or people see the beauty of Ghana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what you're trying to do with your exactly. ads, okay. Exactly. So do you have an Instagram page or something where you promote yeah. these? Yes. Okay. Yes. What's um, your Instagram page? Um, that is Nana Kujo. Nana Kujo. Oh, exactly. so it's like a personal page, but you promote your artwork on there as yes. well. Yes. Okay. And then uh, Facebook is uh, Kujo Perfume. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So in terms in terms of promoting the African culture, you're wanting to do that through your artwork. So are you going to quit the, once you get to a point where you can make enough income from this, are you going to quit the, your other job in the plastic company or? Well, um, it's possible, mm -hmm. it's possible. Okay. I believe for, for now, mm -hmm. for now that I'm taking care of my mom, mm -hmm. I have to improve both mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah yeah of course yeah because you're not so making if enough i see that i um there's improvement in the artwork mm -hmm. then i can hold on my okay current work then sure. concentrate on the, the artwork. artwork okay actually i need a push okay need a push. so a push us in more people finding out about you yes, okay okay because in a case where you don't have a shop and you do everything and no one sees it. Yes, yes, that's right. So you can't, it's hard to display it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm glad you're doing it on social media as well mm -hmm. because social yeah. media, you can reach so many people without actually yes, having a store or a shop or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But Instagram is a great place to do okay. these kind of things. So, yeah, yeah. I'm so happy to also meet you as well. <laughs> thank you, soon. thank you. I hope like it, it brings more exposure to you and you get more. Because I think what you're doing is great. Mm -hmm. And um, I think, it's first of all, it's sustainable. Second of all, it's beautiful. So more people yeah. need to see it. And um, yeah, you okay. need to be exposed more. So, no. yeah. You guys, this is like my favorite out of all the artworks. This is so beautiful. He's used different types of like prints on here and it's just really, really nice. I think it's gorgeous. But I love this one too. That is beautiful too. I think yeah. that's beautiful. So I created something like this in the steps. And this is what I have. You know, when she's in uh, labor. Labor, yeah. yeah. After giving birth, you realize that the father comes in mm -hmm. to see the baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe you can see the whole thing. That's the material. Can. Yes. It's yeah, holding the father. Yes. Then it go to a point that uh, the, mother. the mother also will take over. Yeah. 
then you have a whole family, family. exactly okay. yeah. this time the baby is grown up mm -hmm. the mother is pregnant again, again. Yeah, yeah yeah sure it's lovely like a, a storyline yeah yeah so you can sort of place all of them around each other sure. when you hang it on the wall yeah sure. i was gonna ask so how much do you um charge for these like if someone wants to purchase for instance this one what would you charge well this one go for 70 for 70 series yeah, okay one go for what is it? There's a pin on the side. Oh, I also okay. have the E2. What is it? Video, oh, video a smaller one. one. Okay. Just like the yeah, hardware quality. Um, the slave trade, I, I show you. Yes, yes, what yes. What is okay. it? E2 size. Okay, yeah, okay. Exactly. So it depends and on it, the size. Exactly, okay. Yes. And then for a smaller one like this one. And this one go for 40 cities. For 40 cities, okay. All right. And do you only sell within Ghana or you ship internationally? I know I sell within Ghana. You sell within Ghana. Yeah. So if someone I'm, overseas wanted to order some, would you be able, if sure. they're willing to pay for the postage and all that, sure, you'll okay. be able to organize and send yes. it? Yes. Okay. All right. Awesome. Nana, so regarding um, when you sell these, like how much do you spend on like the raw materials and stuff? So like the frame and the uh, paper and all that, what, what would you spend well, on that? The, the, um, it depends on the frame. Oh, okay. It depends, it depends on the type on the, of the frame. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. depends on the type. Actually, all my artwork, I use black frame. Okay, yes. okay, sure. Yeah. It's not like when I have your picture where I want to frame it that I can use a different one. Okay. okay. But because of art, mm -hmm. I use black and art and white brings out some kind of beauty. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, once you've taken out your raw material and stuff like that, how much would you make? Is it a good because, profit because margin? I'm a That's starter, what I'm uh, um, the profit I get is ten. Okay, okay, so it's not too, it's not that much. So that means the frame is not uh, cheap. Yeah. Okay. okay. Do you buy them in bulk, or you just no, no, buy? No, I don't buy them in bulk. It's just like when I'm done with, um, let's say, a normal of uh, art, like let's say five. Yeah. I go and frame. Frame, frame it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where do you get them? Where do you get the frames? I go to seven. Oh. Okay. I have a quality who does that for me. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. I intended giving. You That's okay. I think I like that. I like the bright colors. So oh, okay. yeah, I think I'll go with that one. All right. Yeah, I like that one. Thank you very, very much. I'll hang it up in my living room. You guys, look at my gifts from Nana. This is really lovely. I love the bright colors. I'm gonna put it up in my living room. I'll see you, because I have no idea. All the corners look the same to you. You guys so that was nana nana makes some amazing artwork make sure you check him out i'll put his instagram handle in the description box as well as on the screen for you guys so just follow him even that is enough support for him um and yeah guys uh, i hope you've enjoyed this one make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to follow your bliss so now life is short follow your bliss nani payete Follow your bliss. Now do you busy be here? And follow your bliss. Now then, then, Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.